What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's vlog. If you're new here, my name is Sam. I post all things lifestyle and faith and an occasional vlog every now and then and podcast episodes. There's a little bit of everything on here. Today we are vlogging. It is a Saturday. My plans that I had for today actually got moved to next Saturday. So today kind of ended up being a free day and I purposely left the day open because I have the day to myself. If you've been following me, if you follow me on Instagram, you know the past couple of weeks have been a little bit crazy. I have been all over the place and a day to myself just sounded really, really nice. So I have nowhere to be other than like a nail appointment later, but I have nowhere to be and I'm just gonna kind of do some of my favorite things. It is now pretty much September. You're gonna be seeing this early September and I want to run a couple errands, do some fall things, get my nails done. It's just gonna be a me day and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I think my passion for vlogging is kind of coming back and I've really been enjoying it. I've been enjoying editing it and sharing it with you guys and so you're probably gonna be seeing some more vlogs from me. So I hope you're okay with that. First up, it's around 11 a.m. I kind of wanna take my Bible and go read outside. I think I'm gonna go to the Starbucks near me it has a nice like courtyard in the back with chairs and tables and I'm gonna get a tea and just kind of read the Bible a little bit. I'd feel like changing up the scenery today. So I'm gonna read for a little bit. I need to go to the bank and then I have a nail appointment. And then I think I'm feeling like Target, Home Goods, looking at the fall stuff. We're just gonna see where the day takes us. So let's get going. Treat for the baby. I also remembered that I need to go to the UPS store to drop off something. When my laptop broke, I bought this like external monitor thing, hoping that I could drag my files over and I ended up not needing it because I just hooked my laptop up to my TV with an HDMI. So this is brand new. It's an external monitor. It's still wrapped in the plastic and this is like 60 bucks I could get back when I return it. I don't need it. I'm not going to use it. So we're going to drop that off, go to the bank and then head to Starbucks. Okay, so I am leaving Starbucks now. I didn't have as much time as I would have liked in there, but I did do my daily devotional, so, so that's good. It started kind of raining while I was sitting out there, but I was under a tree, so I didn't really feel it, but I could tell that people walking by were like, is this girl okay? She's sitting out in the rain, this is weird. So it's fine. I got my daily devotional done, so that's all I care about. I got a strawberry acai lemonade, which it's pretty good. It's really pretty. It's got real fruit in it. Very sweet, so I'm trying to drink it kind of slow, but it was good. I also completely dropped this camera while I was setting up to kind of film in there a little bit, and I thought it broke, but we're okay. But this camera, this poor camera is on its last legs, but we're okay. We're still in business. Anyway, time to go get my nails done. I don't know if you can see. My pointer finger is broken in half. And lately I've just been getting the urge to just chop them off and kind of not even do my nails at all and just let the natural nails rock. But baby steps, I've been doing my nails for years and years without stopping. I can't even tell you the last time I had my natural nails, probably COVID. Um, so baby steps, I am gonna chop them off. I've just, I have the urge just for a change, uh, to make a change but I am still gonna get a color. I'm feeling like maybe a dark red for fall or something, but I've just kind of been getting the feeling that I just wanna like make things more simple, maybe not feel as flashy as sometimes my long nails make me feel. I don't know. So anyway, I'm excited to get them done and just kind of have a change. And so I'll show you guys when we're all done. Okay, we did it. They are gone. And it's actually exactly what I wanted. I got like a little bit of a reddish brown sort of color. My hands look chubbier than I'm used to just because of the short length of the nails, but that's okay. I'll get used to it, but it's exactly what I wanted. And even my nail lady was like, yeah, you should cut them because my nails are kind of thin and weak after years and years of filing them and putting powder and gel on them. And so this is the first step. Eventually I might take a break from doing nails in total at least for a little while 
but this is a happy medium for now. So I'm very excited about it. I feel free. I feel like I can do things. I feel good. So I think Home Goods is going to be up first, and then we're going to go to Target, and I'm going to bring you guys along with me. It's also been brought to my attention that it's weird that I don't listen to music or watch anything when I get my nails done. I just sit there. People think that's weird. Um, I feel like it's rude to sit there with AirPods on. I don't know, maybe it's just me. So please let me know in the comments what you do. Whether you talk to your nail tech or you just sit there in silence or you watch something. Like today, the lady next to me at the nail salon was watching something while she was getting her nails done and her nail tech said something that he thought was funny and he looked at her to join in laughter and she didn't hear him because she had headphones on. And I felt so bad for him. So I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I just sit there. So I'm planning on hosting like football Sundays at my place once a month, once every other month. So I'm looking for like platters to put snacks and stuff in and have it out on the table. So that's what I'm looking for. Maybe not that much football though. That's a lot. Maybe something like this, like a cheese and crackers sort of platter. Something like this, but this doesn't really hold much. I just saw the kid that I was in love with in high school. He's here with his new girlfriend. I love that for him. It's funny because I see all this beautiful stuff and I'm just like, wow, Luna would destroy all of it. And that's why we can't have nice things. <laughs> I saw two different men in there following their wives, both complaining about how they don't have space for all the things that their wives want to buy as far as fall decor goes. And that's really all I aspire to have in my future. Anyway, let me show you what I got. I did not find the platter that I was looking for, so maybe Target will have something, but I did get some kitchen towels, a little pumpkin for the entertainment center. Luna could chew on it, but she can't seem to do much damage to this, so we're gonna just see how it goes. I got a cute little mug because my favorite mug may or may not have broken. And then a loaf pan, which I don't have yet because I wanna try to make this like pumpkin chocolate chip banana bread type thing that I found on Pinterest. So I bought one of those. And then lastly, I bought this vase for my bedroom. I'm gonna fill it with fake pumpkins and I'm gonna try to recreate something that I saw on Pinterest. So I have a vision, just trust the process, but I couldn't find the pumpkin. So again, hopefully Target has something. And all of that was only 35 bucks. Really not bad. That's why I like home goods, but also why it's very dangerous. Well, I'm kind of confused because as far as fall decor goes at Target, there's nothing. It almost looks like they're sold out of stuff. Am I that early? I don't think so. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've been disappointed in Target. I'm not really finding anything. Have you ever seen a more me thing in your life? I mean... See, this is the problem I always have with jeans where they fit everywhere else. But here. It's so annoying because these jeans are so cool. Shame. I really wanted to like this. But it's giving prison jumpsuit. Not in a good way. I'm sad. This dress is awesome, but it's a little bit big. But I love it. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do with this one. I turn my back for two seconds. Luna <laughs> is inspecting what we got. I think she needs to play a little bit. What did you get? Oh, you ripped the tag off. Okay. I think she needs to play a little bit. We're gonna chill and then we'll start decorating a little bit later, right? Okay. Yeah, no. Oh. Okay. Say hello. Luna has never been more interested in anything in her life. I just pulled out all the decorations. You wanna go up to the camera, don't you? Okay. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at everything. I pulled everything out of the closet from last year. I have the new stuff here, so let's go through it, and then we'll start putting it everywhere. I forgot I had one of these. I think it's from Home Goods, so now I have two. You can just never have enough, really. 
Again, I have the vase. I have to take the price tag off. I'll do that off camera. I couldn't find the pumpkins that I want to fill them with, so I'm gonna have to order them and then I'll show you the finished product of what it looks like. Speaking of these little pumpkins, I got them at Target for a dollar each last year or two years ago. Have no idea where I'm gonna put them. Luna's gonna have a field day with them. A lot of this is really just gonna be experimental and we're just gonna see how she does. These are the towels I just bought today. These will go in the kitchen. This is from Home Goods as well. I got this last year. It's gorgeous. And this goes on my dining room table. This white pumpkin is going on my bed. You can see it's really squishy. It's almost like a pillow. There is another Pinterest photo that I'm gonna try to recreate from my bedroom. So this is gonna go on top of my bed. I got this at CVS, surprisingly. I went in for toothpaste. I came out with a pillow and it was like nine bucks. Not bad for CVS. And this, this is like a garland of orange leaves. I usually put this around my TV and you can put batteries in them and they light up. I probably won't do that, but I am gonna put them on the entertainment center. This is gonna be a big experimental one because she could very well rip these to shreds. So I'm gonna put everything out, watch her, cause I'm gonna be home all weekend. And then anything that I need to kind of move out of her reach or just get rid of entirely, I will. This orange blanket is just gonna be thrown over the foot of the bed. This is old. I think this is from Home Goods maybe like two years ago. And then maybe instead of this throw pillow, we'll put the pumpkin, maybe something like that. Not bad. In my mind, this vase was gonna go next to this thing, which is also from Target from last year that I never put away because I love it so much. So it's up year round. Forgot about this guy though, so maybe I will move that over a bit and then do something like that. It'll look better once the pumpkins are in it, but do something like that. And then this, I don't know, this we're gonna have to figure out, but even that's not that bad. Don't look at my vanity, I have to clean it. <laughs> I love the bed though, I think this is perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. Now these, I forgot to show you, but they're like fake orange eucalyptus flowers and they usually go in here, but I have stopped putting things in here lately, obviously because of Luna. And so I'm probably gonna have to take these out, but for now we will leave them because they look cute. And this is what the garland looks like around the TV and look who's close by. So again, this is really wishful thinking, but we're gonna leave it for now. <laughs> I usually drop one of those in there. The other two, maybe I will drop here by the entryway. If I can move this and maybe put this one here and this one on this side. Sure, we'll keep it. <laughs> and then the centerpiece on the table, this usually gets swapped out for this guy. This is what the kitchen looks like before the towels. It's a little messy, excuse the mess. And after, little pops of color. Hello, what's wrong? And then the very last thing, if you're not using plugins, I cannot recommend them enough. I got the apple cinnamon, which I have never used before, but you just plug them into an outlet and it makes your home smell beautiful. So I put one in my bedroom, one in the dining room. So I'm gonna do that now and it should just smell like a fall oasis in here. <laughs> okay, so I think that's all I'm gonna do. It came out really good, but it's not a lot. Christmas is where I go all out. I just put a little things here and there. The next thing that I'm gonna do is pick up some sushi for dinner because I'm hungry. Luna's eating a little bit now. There's a sushi place right by my house that I'm gonna go pick up my favorite rolls. And then I'm actually gonna film for my main channel and I have to film something cool with it. Let me show you. One of my subscribers started her own business and it's a stuffed chocolate bar kind of deal. I don't know if you fully can see just how big and thick these chocolate bars are. They are stuffed. I think one is Twix, one is cookies and cream, strawberry shortcake. Obviously we'll only be having like a bite of each, but she sent them to me so that I could show them in a video and kind of promote her business. And I love when subscribers like have their own businesses. I think it's so cool. So be prepared to see these on my main channel soon. They're so heavy, oh my goodness. Well guys, it is Sunday morning. I didn't even continue vlogging last night. I kind of just vegetated. 
but I am on my way to church this morning. I just wanted to wrap up the vlog and let me show you what I'm wearing because I actually bought this at Target yesterday and didn't show you. It's in the same pattern as that last dress I tried on, but in jumpsuit form and it fits me so much better. I don't know if you could tell, but it's got like the pinstripe detail on it and it's just a little jumpsuit, but it's super, super cozy. I'll try to find the link down below if I can, but I'm really obsessed with it. But that's gonna about do it for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Thanks for hanging out with me for a day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.